So what is going on guys and welcome back to episode number 15 of our Portsmouth crew mode on the PS4 Fever 15. And we're going to be kicking off this episode with a very difficult game up against Tramway Wovers at home. Um, as you guys can notice, I have previously just noticed it thanks to a comment that um, well, our lane is actually called Ivy Lane now. It was called Fratton Park or Fratton Park, but um, now it's changed back for some reason. Or maybe it never even changed, but I guarantee you in the first episode I did actually change it. So... Um, Obviously, it doesn't let you, which this guy also in the comments down below uh, also told me as well that uh, it didn't work on his career, so it must be a glitch on FIFA 15, so sorry about that, guys. But um, as you guys do know, it is our home place. But um, the team we're going to be playing is pretty strong squad up against Tranmere, and uh, hopefully we can pick up the three points, even though they are playing pretty much a defensive line with a five in the midfield. It's going to be very hard to break them down, and they're playing the lone striker bat up front. But we do get the first chance of the game. Loza does very well. Plays a lovely ball through to Munir. Munir was 1-1 one in the 17th minute. Through and one uh, the goalkeeper does make a fantastic save there up high to deny Munir from getting the first goal in the game, and which would have actually uh, put us on our road to getting a good, very good, promising win. But Loza here does very well. Runs down the wing, puts fizzes the ball across the box. It comes to a Zog, and a Zog finally flots the ball into the back of the net. And Azog, to be honest, is one of my best signings so far this uh, uh, season and uh, series, to be honest, because he is pretty much really, really promising uh, player. He's played nearly every game since we've got him, and um, he's now a 66 rated, which is just absolutely incredible. I do believe we picked him up at 63 or maybe it's a 62 rated. So he has gone up heaps and bounds since we've got him, and I know we do know he's very young, and he only cost us 2,000 on the wage budget, and he cost us nothing as he was a free agent. So if you guys are doing a crew mode with a lower league squad, uh, make sure you do check out um, people like... Um, him and maybe even try and get Loza from Norwich as well as he's a very very good player as well but we do get the last chance in the game in the 60, uh, 78th minute with Munir. Munir runs for on goal but unfortunately his shot is well safe from the goalkeeper. Bartram tries to have a shot here but unfortunately it is well blocked and they do then manage to get the ball clear and that was actually how that game finished so we ended up uh, getting the three points at home up against Tramway which was a very promising result and Azo does pick up the man of the match with a 7.5 man of the match rating. But our next game once again was at home up against Northampton and Northampton once again were very very tough uh, opposition they were currently sitting in 7th place we were sitting in 2nd so it was a very very hard game for us but I believe we can actually uh, do well against them the reason why uh, they're sitting in 7th is because they've got 2 games in hand as well so they can actually uh, be right at the top of the table if they do uh, beat us here and uh, win their games in hand which, so therefore we have to try and get something out of this game as I do know it would be a very very difficult game but one player that they do got is Richards up front um, he has been scoring quite a few goals because I did look at the records just before this game and um, he's been he's in the top uh, five with the goal scoring record so we do have to keep an eye on him but I do believe our defence is pretty strong to keep an eye on him but in the start um, pretty much we're in the 30, 30 second minute sorry uh, he does get a good chance I do get a shot it was a wonderful save from Jones but unfortunately their striker acted quicker than ours and um, he does then manage to get the header through and they do uh, score and end themselves 1-0 up in this game so uh, Mark Richards the guy that we did have to try and keep an eye on does pick up a goal but in the 45th minute Hollands picks up the ball does very well here plays the ball out wide to Zalalem Zalalem does very well finds Munir on the edge of the box he sees him he slots a lovely ball through to him I thought it was Munir a story's goal sorry but it wasn't it was actually Dunn's goal the reason why I think uh it, the shot was actually going wide, but Dunn did get the slightest of touch on it. Thankfully, he was onside because the player at the bottom of the screen was playing him onside. But Story did have a good shot, and actually that takes the slightest deflection off of Dunn and finds its way into the back of the net. So I think that was actually going wide, but thankfully, Dunn managed to get the vital touch on it. I don't know how much he knew about it, but I wasn't really bothered. He gets his second goal in the league, and they'll be very, very pleased. But unfortunately for us, in the 48th minute, straight after that, uh, Mark Richards picks up the ball and fires that fantastic shot into the back of the net, and Paul Jones... Whether he's not on good form or not, he wasn't going to be saving that. It was a wonderful strike. Uh, Watmore tried to get there, but unfortunately couldn't. And uh, Richards picks up a very, very good goal to them to put them back in front. But Solano does very well. Plays the ball out wide to Fodgson. Fodgson was through. Has a very good shot. But once again, the goalkeeper makes a very good save. But this time, from the right corner, we whip the ball in the box. And uh, this time, uh, Holmes on corner pursuit. It comes to Hollands. Hollands gets his head onto it, gets there before any defender and before the goalkeeper, and directs the header into the bottom court or into the far corner of the net. And we found ourselves back on level terms in the 60th minute. And um, hopefully, we could have the last chance in the game to try and get something out of it. Actually, there was a wonderful header from Hollands. He does get up very, very well. And uh, thankfully, there's no player on the post, as otherwise, he would have cleared it. But the goalkeeper get nowhere near it. And we found ourselves back on level terms. And once again, that is his second goal in the league. And the last chance does actually come to them. They do get a 
very good chance. Richards here gets the ball, has a shot, but it comes off the post, and uh, Jones then manages to pretty much push the ball out. But in the last kick of the game, Munir runs through, plays a load of ball for Loza. Loza has a shot, but it was an absolute delightful save from their goalkeeper to deny us, and I was very disappointed that their goalkeeper managed to get something on that. But actually, their Watmore did not have a good game, 5.5 rating. And the transfer window is now open. Joe Devera and both Cole Larson both want loans... Um, both want to be uh, sold, basically, or loaned on to a different club to get uh, first-team experience, which I will go ahead and do. But um, that was our C, our scout, a future star. He looks very good potential-wise, but his overall does not look very good necessarily. The important transfer market information, and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, offer for a few good players to see uh, what they will come ahead and go back with. But the first player we do go in for is Hector Bayer in the right back. We do inquire about him because his sprint speed and agility looks very, very promising. But I don't know how good he is. Ben Amos was another player that, because as you can see there, we can approach him on the contract expiry as he's 24 years old, but he's going to cost us quite, uh, it's going to be quite a lot on the wage budget, but I don't know whether to get him. Andre Moreira as well, another goalkeeper that you guys suggested to have a look at um, inquiring about. So everyone that you suggested, I didn't in fact inquire about. So thank you so much for uh, requesting about goalkeepers, etc. If you do have any players that you would like me to have a look at buying, please uh, leave a comment down below. But uh, be um, sensible with the comments as well, because obviously we've only got 300000 to spend, so we've got no money whatsoever. But actually there, Hector Bayerian only wanted thirty-five grand um, to put lure him away, which um, is probably a glitch anyway, as the same as Loza, but um, Nabil Bensler, they were 1.1 million, Kurt Zuma, astonishing 14 million, and the goalkeeper here, they wanted 1.8 million, which is way too much money to what we can afford, so we do try and counter off it with 40,000 plus Jones, but I don't think they're going to accept it, but we're now going to be approaching the end of this episode, I really do hope you did enjoy the video, and I will hope you, um, hope you, you tune in next time to watch the next episode and uh, please don't forget to hit the like button down below as it is very, very much appreciated, and it really does help my channel out, thank you, bye bye.